Hey everyone, Reds back in action, trying to hold on to their slim half game lead in the Central with the first of three in Florida tonight. First two men got on tonight and we're almost stranded, but Austin Kearns with two out, base hit, scores them both, two zip Reds, then to lead off the second. Aaron Boone with a four game hit streak deep to left and gone. Three zip, but Elmer DeSens didn't really have it tonight. Gave up two in the second, two in the third. Suddenly it was four, three Marlins, and the Reds had to come back. They tied it in the sixth, and then with two out in the ninth, Jason LaRue. Singling home, Austin Kearns, five, four Reds, but bottom nine, Lee. With a base hit to center, here comes the tying run. Junior's coming up throwing. It's a perfect throw, but a bad hop. Watch this. LaRue can't handle it. Lowell ties the game at five. Marlins lead the bases loaded in the 10th, and in the 11th, Aaron Boone says, thanks for waiting for me to get hot. Goodbye. Second of the night, and the Reds win at 6-5 in 11. The Cardinals absolutely refuse to lose. No matter who the Here opponent is. is. Shot to center field. Mike Lowell's going to try it. Hey. That ties this puppy up at five. It came in the bottom of the ninth. And that's why this team is so tough to wipe out. Take a look at Jason LaRue. Gets himself into position, but it's an awfully tough short hop for him. That situation, you have to judge whether you have the time to go out and scoop that ball on a short hop or play the long one. That ball ate him up. Luis Castillo is on fire. Adam Dunn then misplayed the carom. This is, this is death here. Castillo, third. Triple! And the Marlins are in big business. Look at all the fans. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Young crowd. Take another look at me. <laughs> Dunn just on the ball just hugs the line and goes by him. I mean, that's a tough play. <laughs> Young crowd. Andy Fox. What a hanging chad. <laughs> He's shot in Casey at first. One out, Castillo still on third. Next batter, Preston Wilson, Danny Graves intentionally walks in. We got men at first and third. Cliff Floyd, yep, yours too. All right, so the bases are juiced. One out, Bob Moore. What are you going to do now? Mike Lowell. Woo! Curveball. What a pitch by Danny Graves. Two outs. Bases still full. 1 0 pitch. Trouble. Not anymore. Let's advance to the 11th inning. 5-5, five, five. A, B, all business for Aaron Boone. With two down, his home run gives the Reds a 6-5 lead. Aaron Boone's average just above 200, but he realized in that last series in Atlanta, he started hitting the ball a lot harder. It pays off. 6-5, the Reds' bullpen outstanding again. Six and a third. One run. Boone's third career multi-home run game. Middle of the Reds order goes six for 14. Andy Fox and Eric Owens each come up with three hits in this one. So the Reds needing a strong outing from Joey Hamilton as they cling to their slim central lead. Facing Josh Beckett, who has been suffering from a blister on his middle finger. He might have some blisters on his backside because the Reds' bats spanked him good. First inning, two on, third batter, Casey, that's a double into the corner. Walker's going to score, it's one nothing. Fourth batter, Adam Dunn, that's just a single. And hold, hold on there, Casey, you're slow. Let's just let Juan score first. Two nothing. Patience is a virtue, Sean. We'll get to you. Fifth batter, Aaron Boone. Spank me hard and call me Grandma Boone. He's on fire. His fourth homer in three games, five nothing. Trouble, bottom one for him. Hamilton bases loaded, needs help, gets it. 5 4 3 DP, great turn by Walker. Hamilton, six scoreless innings. Second inning, again with Walker and Encarnacion aboard. Casey base hit, six zips. Reds cruise control. Hamilton gets defensive support to Larkin, his best pirouette. Reds are dancing, make it four or five from the Marlins. 8 2 is your final. Baseball commissioner Bud Selig met with team. The Reds with a chance to increase their first place lead over the Idle Cardinals to two games if they can sweep the Marlins. Let's go to Pro Player Stadium. Barry Bonds sends a routine fly to right field. Former Red Eric Owens is out there, but he drops the ball. What's going on here? Adam Dunn scores. Sean Casey chugs around, comes home. Reds with a two to nothing gift in the second inning. Hey, great play here by Todd Walker. Watch him just flip it over to first base. 
That's awesome. Gets the runner. Now Larkin with another long fly, but this one gets out of the park. Larkin's third home of the season. Reds on top, three to nothing. Derek Lee breaks up. Jimmy Haynes shut out in the seventh. Solo homer to center field. Three to one Reds, but Haynes evens his record at five and five. And Adam Dunn answers with his 11th blast. Reds win it four to one. Sweep the Marlins. They'll return home to face the Braves tomorrow night. Jeff Shaw will not be returning to the Reds. General Manager Jim Bowden today tells Shaw's agent Joe Bick, talks are at a dead end. His price is too high. And Bick told me Shaw's career is over. This is uh, definitely retirement, Harvey. He's, um, you know, since uh, this winter, really, I, I mean, he only wanted to get a deal done with the Reds, and, and we've made three separate attempts to do that, but uh, there won't be any more. The baseball world is still buzzing over steroids, but Reds team Dr. Tim Kremchek says no one on the Reds is on the juice. But there was a time when some thought about trying the junk. When Mark McGuire was on Andros, a lot of the players were saying, could I take some uh, steroids? Would it help me hit better, more home runs? Would it help my average? Would it help me stay, you know, in better condition throughout the season? And, you know, I think the answer to those questions are probably yes, but we told them the side effects. I mean, liver disease, high blood pressure, death, uh, heart problems, cardiomyopathy. Uh, myopathy. And most of the players are pretty in tune to their bodies.